Squarespace just rolled out the ability to load custom fonts to Squarespace and use them with no code. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. I am super excited for this update. If we haven't met, I'm Christy Price. I'm a Squarespace expert and educator. And if you don't have my Squarespace pre-launch checklist yet, I'll drop a link below for you to grab it. It is everything you need to check before or after you launch a Squarespace website with video walkthroughs for every single item. All right, I am here in my Squarespace website. And if we go over to the fonts menu here in Site Styles, so click on the paintbrush, then come over to fonts. You can click through here and see that right now for my headings, I'm using Ivy Presto Headline. So that is a font that's built into Squarespace. I do really like it, but it gets used a lot. So I wanted to choose something that was similar, but not as many people were using. So I've just purchased a font called Editor's Note, and I'm going to add it to my website. And I'll walk you through how this is going to work. So the font I'm adding will be a heading font. So what I'm going to do is click on Headings and click on my font, my current font. And now you'll see this little upload icon here. I'm going to click that and you can drag and drop your fonts here. A couple things to note, you can use OTF, TTF, WAF, or WAF2. Those are the file types. So open type, true type, these are web type fonts. So if you have any of those, it will work here. And a note here from Squarespace, so make sure that you have the rights to use the font on your website. So when you purchase a license for a font, very often there is a separate desktop license and website license. So make sure that you have the website license. And if there are page view limits, just make sure that you are under those or you might need to adjust your license. Okay, so you can drag and drop your fonts here. Now, I know Squarespace is still working on this. At the moment, we can only do one at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and drop in my regular WAF 2 and go back. And here it is, uploaded, editor's note. Great. So I'm just going to continue adding these one at a time, and I'll be back to you when I'm done. Okay, so I have loaded these one by one. Hopefully by the time you've discovered this video, Squarespace has it so you can upload in mass. So go ahead and try that first. Drag all those files to the drag and drop. If that doesn't work, come here and add them one by one like I did. Now, if you decide you no longer want to use this font, um, let's go ahead and come back in here. So I'm on my headings. Ivy Presto is still what you see here, but let's go ahead and go down to uploaded. And if you click manage here and you're like, I don't actually want this, you can click here and choose to delete all of those styles. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to use it. So I'm going to click on this and you can see that now editor's note is my heading font. So all of my headings are editor's note. Now, another important thing you want to check, I'm going to go into site styles, into fonts. And I'm going to make sure that I'm not still pulling Ivy Presto in. And if I click here under Editor's Note, you can see the fonts that are in use. Fewer fonts, faster site. So that's what I want. Um, I'm just using Editor's Note and Sophia now. If I did still see my old font here, I'd need to go probably into Assign Styles and look for some of these custom uh, settings and check those and update those to Editor's Note as well. Now, the thing that I'm noticing is that I think Editor's Note just generally is a little smaller than what Ivy Presto was. So what I'm going to do is go in here and just bump these up a hair. There we go. Okay, that feels good to me. So you may need to make some size adjustments there. Play around with it until it looks good to your eye. But I am so excited to have been able to use this custom font on my website. If you're using a custom font on your website, drop a link below, let me know what you're using. Um, if you're excited to have this no code solution to add it to Squarespace. And if you're interested in checking out Editor's Note for your own site, I'll drop a link below to that font. The creator has tons of great fonts, a really nice shop. So if you're looking to support an individual font designer, check her out. If you found this helpful, please give the video a like or drop a comment below because that helps other people discover my videos. Thanks so much for watching and I wish you all the best with your website and those custom fonts.